Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to take a hard drive out of a Mac Pro and put it in an external enclosure so that you can get your information off of it. So the first thing you want to do is take your Mac Pro, lay it down, and uh, that way we can go ahead and get it open. Now this Mac Pro is uh, given to me by a friend and they said it's no longer working. Uh, they want to get their information off of the hard drive. So I've already laid it down. This is the side that has all the power cables, the ethernet cables, the USB cables. And right here is a little switch that you can pull and it'll unlock the side of this case. And then we're able to pull up on it and take off that side of the case. Now inside, you have the capability of four hard drives. This one only has two. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those two out. Sometimes you might wanna use a tool to help you. This is a screwdriver without the bit. And I just kind of put it under here and pull up just a little bit on it. It just helps give you a little bit of leverage. It makes it so much easier. There's the first drive. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the primary drive out. So just kind of keep going back and forth and eventually it'll come loose. Now that we've gotten both of the drives out, I'm gonna go ahead and close it back up. So I'm gonna take that cover. It's got a little notch at the bottom that fits into the groove right here. We're gonna put that in, lay it down flat, and then put that lever back in. Now we're finished with the Mac Pro at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it on the ground. Now the only thing we'll need at this point are the two hard drives, and I've got both of them right here. I'm gonna show you how to do it on one of them. The other one will be done exactly the same way. I have a kit that I bought many years ago from iFixit. I'm, I'm not endorsing them, I'm just saying that's what I use, and it has lots of good tools in there. So I use that along with this heavy screwdriver that I can put a bit on, and it works really well. So I go ahead and I take the connector, right here and put it into the screwdriver. And then I take the bit and I put it on the screwdriver. And now I'm able to go ahead and take off this housing that holds it into the Mac Pro. And you just go ahead and take off all four screws. Now that we've got the housing apart from the hard drive, now we're gonna go ahead and take an enclosure right here. This is an external enclosure that I've had. I have a bunch of them. I really like these. Um, again, I'm not endorsing them, but this is from G Drive. I just like it how sturdy they are. I've had these for many years and they've worked great for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off. There's six screws on the bottom. One of them is under the warranty label but I don't really care because I just need the hard drive in there. And so I'm gonna go ahead, and I've had these so long, it's way past the warranty. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these screws out. Now I may need a different bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that really quick. Great, now I'm gonna go ahead and take off the top cover. And I already have a hard drive in here, which I don't need this hard drive, but I need to go ahead and take out, there's four screws that are holding that hard drive in. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out.
sometimes the screws are in really tough, so you might have to use a flat tip in order to get them off. Great, now we got those four screws out. Now we are able to take out the hard drive. There's two cables. There's a power cable and the data cable. So we're gonna unhook the power cable first, and then we should be able to unhook the data cable. Now, it's out. The only thing that you have to do with this G drive is you wanna put this onto the other drive that you're installing. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove four more screws, two on this side and two on this side, and then we're gonna go ahead and put that on the other hard drive. Now we were able to get all four of those screws out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the hard drive that we wanna get the data off of, and I'm gonna take this bottom cover, and I'm gonna put it on the hard drive, and I'm gonna line up the screw holes with the cover or bracket, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws back in. Just a suggestion, you may not want to tighten these too tight until you have all four of them in. That way, if for some reason the screw holes are not lining up, you still have a little bit of room to move it around. Now that we have the bottom bracket on, we can go ahead and put it back in the case. Go ahead and connect the data cable first. Then you'll have to reach through. It's a short power cable. Go ahead and connect that to the hard drive. And then you just set down the hard drive and the bracket fits nicely with the bottom part of the case. And then we're gonna put those four screws back in too, which the holes should line up. The last thing you have to do is put on the outside cover. So we're just going to take the hard drive and the bottom cover and slide it in, slowly working it all the way to the back. And now it looks like an external enclosure and the hard drive's in there. And so now we're just gonna put those six screws back in and we'll be ready to connect it to your computer. Now that we have the enclosure put back together, we're ready to connect it to the computer and then you can get your data off of it. Now with this G drive that I used, you can tell because it's got the G on the front, it has a power cable and you can either use a USB cable 
a firewire cable, or an eSATA cable. I'll show you in another video how to get the information off of this onto your computer. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.